guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Akudama Drive. I am not ready to watch this episode. It is now like 8 in the morning, almost 9, and I woke up super, super early for this because not only I love you guys, but because not only I love this show, but Kanaka also owns my ass. I am, I have been nervous ever since last Thursday. And the last time I was this nervous was chapter six of Danganronpa V3. Because, you know, if you've played Danganronpa, chapter six is the chapter where shit gets real, literally, and stuff. And so I, I'm scared. <laughs> Everything. I've been anticipating this ever since last week, but I, I'm sad at the same time because once I watch this, this is over. He, we don't know what he's going to do next. Kind of we do from things that got announced, I think, between last year and the year before when he left Spike Junsoft. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the finale in three, two, one, go. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where, where's Smuggler? Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, baby monkey, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, that's the same kinds of isn't it? Yeah. They're flirting with each other. Huh. I'm trying not to cry. We're only like a couple of minutes in. Yeah, but you guys brainwash people. Bullshit. Oh, the little girl. They made her homeless because they killed her parents. So now what? But do you really want that? They all died saving you.
There's gotta be something else you can do. Shut up and just take it! No. Oh, she's so fucking smart!
<laughs> oh, damn. Oh, come on, please. the right because you did a fucking citizen Because you are. Oh, oh damn. Did they have her with a brick? shit well it's just like fuck it we destroyed everything oh my god oh
Damn. Just like that, huh? Go. Please fucking hurry. Are you fucking serious? No, get up! Get up! Please! Oh my god! Come on!
Okay. Jesus Christ. So final thoughts. This is a damn good show. A damn good show. I am so happy I ain't get spoiled on anything. Cause, oh God, I can't. This was so fucking good. And I know it was the sleeper hit of this season, but for me, this is my and I, this is my anime of the year. That's it. This was too damn good. And it's not only because Kanaka owns my ass because I love anything he makes, but this was so good. I wish we've got at least gotten to see like what the kids saw outside in the light but of course it's just up to imagination and everything I really thought he wasn't gonna kill those two and that at least in the end all four of them would have escaped but it made sense to have the last two remaining Algoramas die in order to save these kids everybody died including doctor even though yes everybody is like you know still pissing the shit that she did but everyone died protecting these kids and I really enjoyed that like oh my god especially freaking ordinary slash swindler and I gotta say I said it last week and on twitter and I'm gonna say it again this girl's officially now the most badass female character Kadaka has made she's paved a way for me she's now officially now like my number one favorite female protagonist. And whoever comes next, you got a lot of shit to mm, live up to, really. I thought, you know, everybody had so many theories of how this was going to end. That maybe the kids were going to take his bike and live on as his legacy or something. But you know what? I'm glad with this ending. I'm satisfied with it. This was a damn good show. I think my little thing is... And this is the one thing that I'm going to say that I kind of disliked about it. With the 12 episodes, yes, the pace is going a little faster than if it was a show that was like 24 episodes. I think if the if it got the chance to be a 24 episode series instead of a 12 episode series, we would have gotten um, a lot more backstory, probably on everybody. But I'm guessing... Uh, the person who does the manga that's um, getting translated by Renta, that could give us a little more explanation maybe for these characters. I don't know. I haven't really read it personally myself. I know because they want you to pay money and I'm like, why don't you just go ahead and have the whole damn thing come out and you just put it in stores as a damn book and I will buy it and read it from that. But this was a damn good series and Honestly, Kadaka and dude who made 999 and everybody else who went with this, they did fucking good. I mean, Kadaka has been planning this since, for a total of nine years, ever since 2014. And the fact is, I remember last year hearing, finally him sharing about this and stuff and being so anticipated about it because this was my anticipated show of the year. And when it was supposed to come out during the summer and because of COVID, it got postponed. I was pissed, but I'm glad that it came out in the last quarter of this year, starting at my birthday month, ending in the last month of the year and everything. It was just really good. And I, I, I don't think we'll get anything like this again. Maybe in the next five years, maybe. But I already know that when the dub is over and three to six months from now when the Blu-ray and Ish comes out, hell yeah, I'm definitely picking this up and probably going to cry again over these characters. But, oh God, it was just so good and I enjoyed it so much. Even though we all knew, I I'm surprised, like what I thought it was going to be was the Swindler and um, Smuggler was going to die at the same time. But because of the fact is they showed her first and then him, you automatically knew that he was going to die last. But, Still, she she didn't she went out good, and I'm glad that it was recording and everybody you know the citizens rioted against the executioners and to pay and that question that you know, um, pupils pupil asked last week, what makes a person a Akudama or Akudama truly evil and such? But no, in the end, the executioners were the evil ones at the end of the day, and honestly. 
oof. Like, I, I can't. I it just can't anymore. I feel like I'm going to cry again over this. But this was such a damn good series. I, I got to say, the cast did amazing. Everybody was good to have, you know, not only people from, like, Megamine and the guy who played Gonta, um, who played Brawler in this, and then um, the executioner who played Ryoma and Danganronpa, to have three people from Danganronpa and then freaking... Tamoyo, who played Ordinary, who I know for, like, other roles, I think this is probably now my ultimate, like, number one role for her. Everybody did good. Um, Smuggler's actor did good. Just everyone. The new people who I've never heard before. Um, the goats. Everybody did amazing. And this was just a damn good series. And honestly, probably one day I will watch it again and cry over these damn characters again because this was a very emotional journey because as someone who like I said anticipated it I immediately fell in love with these characters ASAP and the fact that yes we slowly but surely killed them all off one by one I knew I was gonna cry <laughs> but I loved it thank you Kadaka and honestly I cannot wait to see what the hell you're gonna have next in store specifically I th I don't remember what I know it's a game and he's doing a collab with Spike Junsoff of course but I think he's getting very close to announcing that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the series Akudama Drive. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for the start of Winter 2021 anime. Bye, guys.